Yeah, it's some old guy coding again today, and now we're uh, today we're going to take a look at a flashback teardown of this uh, Lowry Symphonic Holiday Organ. So I, I came across this uh, CGSSynth.net by Ken Stone, and he used to sell, or maybe he still does sell, uh, uh, PC boards for building synthesizer parts. Um, and I came across this page talking about, uh, you know, the sourcing parts from uh, from an old organ. And some of the things he recommends, uh, parts that you can use out of there, are keyboards and uh, the pedal boards, of course, the amplifiers and speakers, the expression pedal cabinet, uh, the reverb tank. I was really looking for one of those for my synthesizer that I was building at the time. And, uh, you know, other parts, of course. And, uh, here's a great picture of the back of the uh, uh, Symphonic Holiday. Uh, the reverb tank is right there, and that was the first thing I grabbed out of there. And it's also got a Leslie speaker in here, too. I'm not able to get... Uh, I, I've got that parted out and in the garage. I don't have access to it uh, at the moment. But uh, we'll certainly uh, uh, show some pictures on how that works later on. So in any case, after uh, searching for one of these things, it turns out that the brother-in-law had a source of an old organ. Uh, he uh, didn't know what kind it was, and I said, okay, haul it up for me. And it turned out to be exactly this model, the Lowry Symphonic Holiday. What, what a break. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, some pictures here. Well, there it is, hot off the brother-in-law's truck. Uh, it wasn't in too bad a cosmetic shape. Uh, there were a few issues with it, um, although it did come from the home of a very heavy smoker, and it just reeked of tobacco smoke. Um, unbelievably strong. But uh, you know, overall, it didn't look too bad. There were some issues uh, with the speakers and playing. The, some of the key, the keys were uh, kind of shot. But uh, I was mostly looking at it for parts anyway, so that wasn't too big an issue to me. Here you can see a few of those plastic sliders are broken. Very nice. <laughs> So these are two shots that I really love. The back shots of the uh, machine, as you can see there, there's kind of a clean spot where I sold the reverb unit off of there already. But what's really amazing is look at all those wonderful electronics. It's amazing. But wait, there's more. <laughs> yeah, pull the door down and back and there's even more boards. Every surface, uh, even behind there where you can't see in front, is covered with more circuit boards. It's just absolutely amazing, and the wiring that must have had to have been done to uh, to uh, create one of these things. Look at all those wonderful uh, components in there. It's just just like uh, you know the thing was the the harnesses were wired wrapped or wire wrapped onto uh, pins on the boards, and uh, just the work involved in that had to be uh, horrendous, and uh, you know the, the rework must have been horrendous too. <laughs> <laughs> but lots of cool parts. It's kind of uh, fun to look at. And there's the Leslie unit. Um, tells about that. Looks like there has been a mouse in there or something. Made away part of the label. The power supply down in the lower left and back. And some of the pedal boards there on the lower right. You can see those are the uh, pedal boards. And just more and more electronics. Very cool.
Very nice to look at, though. Here's where I started pulling the uh, the front and parts out of the uh, organ. I wanted to be able to insert my own keyboard uh, in there and have space for additional modules because I was working on this modular synthesizer up here. There's the keyboard from one of the keyboards from the organ.